it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today we are back for our first Dollar Tree train of 2024. All right, it is Winter Cupid. So, so we're looking at winter stuff. We're looking at Valentine's Day stuff. We could do both. So if you want to see what I picked up from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day in winter, then come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you are new, hi, my name is Katie and on my channel I do unboxings, I do some hauls, hauls Tea Tuesdays, and I'm bringing back subscription, I'm bringing back a small business Saturdays. Either, or I haven't quite decided if it's going to be once a month or every other month. We'll see. But today is all about a collab. It is the Dollar Tree chain. Woo! And we are rolling into winter and Valentine's Day this time. As always, we have our fearless leader, Miss Jackie Russell, uh, and that I need to thank for always including me in this, and also to Tracy from Tracy and Chloe Unboxings Beauty and More for doing all of our advertisements and thumbnails and things like that. So, what we are charged with every time is getting 10 items from our Dollar Tree. Now, my local Dollar Tree just started putting in some of the 3 and $5 items. I don't have any of those here today. I just went with the regular old $1.25 items. Um, so, here are my 10 items that I picked up. Mine are all Valentine's Day. Hey, I am... Done with winter, enough snow, although you'll see my snowflakes here for a while. Oh, but I'm thinking love. So the first thing I have is a little decoration and a little wall hanging that says love and has these like 3D flowers up here. Look how soft. Looks like a little velvety. Hey, that one needs a little glue maybe. They, they did have plastic wrap and this over top to protect it. So I took all of that off ahead of time. And you will see this hanging behind me here for the next month or so. Oh, so that was my first thing. Now my other thing to decorate, hey, I don't usually do a whole lot of decorating for Valentine's Day. I gotta tell you, it's not my favorite holiday. Never has been, probably never will be. Hey, also in my house, I have a December birthday, like after Christmas, before New Year's, and my husband has a January birthday, like mid-January. So between Christmas and our two birthdays, we're kind of done. And by the time we get to Valentine's Day. So we never make it real big. Okay? But, you know, with the kids. So I did find these banners that look like the little candy hearts. All right, so, oh, it's upside down, which is weird because is, this is the correct way to look at it. I wonder if there's more grommets up here? No. Oh, there's a way to hang it up here, though. Oh, I was thinking of these hooks down here, but it is about six feet and our house, we have the front door and then we have the two long windows on either side of the door. So I thought this would be perfect to hang there. And I did pick up two of them. Um, let me see if I can show you. That is what they look like completely unrolled and hanging. So I think I'm gonna put those up in those two windows for the holiday. And that's kind of like this and maybe another little heart or two downstairs and those banners. That's about the extent of my Valentine's Day decorating. I'm lucky I have my Christmas stuff down by Valentine's Day. Now, oh, it is a cute holiday. I like it. it you know, not, definitely not my favorite, but I have the kids, I have the husband, I have my mom. So I did get some bags. This is number two. Number one and was this. Number two was, I'm sorry, this is item number three. One was this, two was the banner. Even though I got two, that counts as one for me. I got this three pack of little bags. So you have this one, you have this one, and you have this one. 
perfect for my husband and my kids. So I got one for each of them to put a little Valentine's Day treat in. And now I have to fill them up, right? Well, first thing I need, need and item number four is some tissue paper and it is Valentine's Day themed. You have the little hearts, hearts with the arrows and then you have the red tissue paper. Or, and this is only 10 sheets. Now normally you can get like 20 or more but because this is like the special holiday themed one you only get 10 for $1.25 but it'll look cute in, in the bags. And then of course and this again is counting as one for number five. I've, I have a bunch of cards. <laughs> All right, I have one for my mother, from the kids. I have one for my husband, one for my son, and one for my daughter. All right, she loves Paris and Macron's, so I thought that one was perfect for her. So I have cards for everybody. All right, then you need the sweet treats, right? Okay, so my kids and my husband love the sour or gummies. So for or so for my son, I have wait, no, nope, this one is for my son. <laughs> for my son, I have the sour patch kids, and these are or sour hearts, but they're all in black raspberry, so they're black. He is not a Valentine's Day super feely person. He will appreciate these and the humor behind these. So these are for him. They're still hearts, right? Plus he wears like almost all black, like black, white, and gray, and a little bit of blue. It's like all he wears. So it's perfect for him. Now for her, my daughter, I have also... Oh, Sour Patch Kids ones. Also hearts, but hers are in pinks and reds. So same thing, just different personalities. And then for my husband, I also got heart ones, but these are Warhead hearts instead of the Sour Patch Kid brand. So those are for him. Um, and then they had this four pack of the Reese's hearts. So one of the, they'll each get one of these in their, their little bag along with their other candy sweet treat. And oh gee, guess there's one left over. Uh, maybe I'll give it to my mom. Who am I kidding? I'm going to eat it. One of them is going to be for me. Did I only get three? Nope, there's one like hanging out way down here. See, it wanted to hide from me. So I did get those. And then I needed the tenth item. I need one more thing. And these were like so cute. I just could not pass these up. Uh, these are little makeup blenders or makeup sponges. Aren't they cute in the little hearts? I thought these were adorable. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me get them out here. Look how cute. So they have like the little almost like... Um, cupcake liners but smaller all right and then they have the little hearts in there so super cute the other thing you could do with these and I think would be super adorable all is you could if you had like a one of the big heart tins from um years past my parents used to always do that. They would save like the heart, like the cardboard heart, and then they would refill the same one every year so they weren't paying the Valentine's Day prices. You did that. You could put these in there and then and surround them with like candy hearts and things. So cute. Uh, all right. So those are my 10 items from the Dollar Tree. So, so let me know what you think about my Valentine's Day haul from the Dollar Tree. Are you finding these things in your Dollar Tree? Now, as always, we always do a giveaway with this collab. My prize is always a $10 gift card to Dollar Tree. Hey, that is it. That's what you get. <laughs> it, I'm not, I, um, you can't exchange it for anything else. It is $10 to the Dollar Tree. So anywhere in the world that you are, if you can use 10 USD at a Dollar Tree near you or online, you are welcome to enter. 
for the roles, you do have to be a you do have to comment and subscribe to everyone and who is in the collaboration. And so oh, there will be a playlist down below. Make sure you follow that. Give everybody a thumbs up, up and let them know how you thought their haul was. Is is once this giveaway will go for two weeks. After that time, I will draw a winner. I will let the winner know probably around mid-February. Once I know who the winner is, I will put tuck the card in a, I will tuck the gift card in another card and send it on its way. Hey, um, I am not responsible though. If the post office loses it, mangles it, or anything else, I only have the one card that I can send. Um, I think that is it. It. And again, thank you, Miss Jackie Russell and Tracy for always spearheading this. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.